Yo, what's good friends? It's Jonathan. In this video, I got some extra spicy, too hot for TV hotness for you. We're gonna be comparing the Pixel 3 XL up against the Galaxy S10 Plus in an epic camera shootout. The loser is gonna get tossed into a pit of Egyptian beetles that are rabid, they're starving, they've been put up for adoption, but they're just way too ugly for anybody to take, so they're mean. So grab your grandma, grab your grandpa, grab your best friend, grab that ice cream truck driver that keeps offering you a blow pop even though you're 30 years old, and let's do this. All right, to kick this video off, we're gonna be doing some front-facing camera video test. We got the Pixel 3 XL and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Galaxy S10 Plus looking a little wider, plus it's in 4K. Pixel 3 XL is looking a little punched in, a little muddy. How's the stabilization? How's the audio on both? When comparing the Galaxy S10 Plus to the Pixel 3 XL, I figured this was going to be a blowout and a definite win for the Pixel. But after looking at a ton of images, it's way closer than I imagined. The one thing that stood out to me almost immediately with the daytime shots is just how much more dynamic range the Galaxy S10 Plus has 99% of the time. This isn't always the case as there is still that 1% and you can see it here in the lily pads. It's very apparent in the shadows as the Pixel 3 is a little too aggressive with the contrast, whereas the Galaxy S10 Plus tends to brighten the image quite a bit while retaining plenty of highlight detail and shadow detail. The amount of dynamic range Samsung is able to squeeze out of the sensor is pretty insane. You can really see what I mean here with the Galaxy S10 Plus shows more detail on the sidewalk to the left, on the car to the right, while also showing more detail in the shadows of the fine and showcasing clouds in the sky. It doesn't always play out this way as when we're dealing with live focus versus portrait mode on the Pixel 3, the Galaxy S10 Plus tends to overexpose skin tones, resulting in clipping at times or the lack of detail. Whereas the Pixel delivers more detail by increasing the contrast and darkening the image. Whether or not one is better than the other comes down to personal preference. However, what I will say is that Samsung gives you a little bit more flexibility to manipulate the image, whereas Google crushes the darker parts of the image to the point where you can't really bring back some of the areas. While I'm not a fan of the skin smoothing on the S10 or any phone for that matter, the Pixel goes too far at times with the detail. It ends up accentuating some of the most unflattering features of your face, like your hair follicles, pores, or if you have acne. I love the Pixel 3's front-facing wide-angle portrait mode, and when compared to the wider-angle live focus mode, the Pixel 3 looks much better in my personal opinion. In terms of reliability and which has the more accurate portrait mode, I think it comes down to preference again. The S10 has greater flexibility and allows you to be farther away from your subject, such as the fountain shot here, where the Pixel failed to capture after multiple attempts. It also tends to have more natural roll-off and resembles more of a DSLR or mirrorless camera. That said, the Pixel 3 just looks absolutely stunning when it hits, and the subject detection is amazing for a single camera system. The Pixel also tends to land a bit warmer in most scenarios, while the S10 Plus is slightly cooler. I would say that the S10 Plus does have the more accurate look, while the Pixel 3 has more vibrancy with colors that just pop. The Pixel 3 has super res zoom, which is supposed to give you a lossless zoom. It works decently, but when you compare it to the telephoto lens on the S10 Plus, the telephoto lens is definitely better. One way the Galaxy S10 Plus for sure beats out the Pixel 3 is with the wide angle camera. You can fit your entire family, plus your crazy neighbors, and the stray llama that keeps pooing on your yard all in one shot, easily. In low light, things get a little strange. After doing a bunch of tests, I decided to use the scene optimizer on the S10 Plus for this comparison, since Google is using its own AI-based algorithms to process the image. The results are quite interesting. Google tends to produce a sharper and more detailed image, but tends to always mess up the white balance. The Galaxy S10 Plus produces more true-to-life accurate colors with less detail. This comes down to the aggressive noise reduction that the S10 Plus is using. When not using Night Sight on the Pixel 3, you can see the images are actually a little bit noisier than they are on the S10 Plus. Night Sight fixes this issue most of the time, but there are times where even with Night Sight on, the images are very close. Dynamic range at night is so back and forth with each of these phones, it's hard to judge which is actually better. At times, the Pixel 3 has better shadow detail, but at the cost of highlight clipping, and other times the role is just reversed. However, there are times where the S10 Plus produces better highlight and shadow detail, which the Pixel 3 also does when night sight is enabled. Using portrait mode at night completely changes everything. The Galaxy S10 Plus is very inconsistent and sometimes looks fine, but other times looks like a muddy mess with no detail. In fact, it's so bad that the image almost looks like it's out of focus. 
The Pixel 3 images are not amazing by any means, but given the circumstances and what it's being compared to, it's like Leonardo da Vinci being compared to an elementary finger paint artist. When looking at video, things pretty much stay the same. Both phones can capture 4K video, however the S10 Plus edges out ahead by also being able to shoot 4K 60 frames per second and also being able to record HDR10 Plus video for extreme dynamic range. In full auto, the S10 Plus produces a brighter and sharper image with colors that are more vivid. The Pixel 3 at times does seem to have better dynamic range for a split second or two, like you see here, however the image is not as sharp and the colors are a bit muted when compared to the S10. This particular shot is tough for me because I love the cinematic vibe of the Pixel, but the S10 looks ready to go straight out of the camera. Both phones tend to control flares pretty good during video, however I would give the slight edge to the S10. Both phones can do some type of slow motion. The Pixel 3 can do 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second, which looks a little bit better than the 240 frames per second on the S10 Plus, and definitely better than the 960 frames per second that it, it's just passable. Stabilization is actually really good on both phones. The Pixel 3 uses software stabilization, whereas the S10 Plus uses OIS and a form of digital stabilization. Both phones have tricks up their sleeves when it comes to this. The Pixel 3 has an additional layer of stabilization that can be applied after you record your video, while the Galaxy S10 has Super Steady Shot, which uses the same tech as the GoPro Hero 7. Low light video isn't the greatest on either phone, however the Galaxy S10 takes the cake here not only for having a sharper image, but also since the Pixel 3 uses software stabilization, you can see the micro jitters in movements, which is a limitation to the software. Front facing video is the same story. Both look like a blended turd with a dash of porcupine urine, however the S10 does look ever so slightly better. Alright friends, so here's the deal. Both phones have their strengths and their weaknesses. With well, the Galaxy S10 Plus has a dual aperture, it's got a wide angle and a telephoto camera, it's got OIS, it's got HDR10 Plus for video, and it's got super steady shot. The Pixel 3 XL has some of the best portrait mode processing I have ever seen on any smartphone, and it does it with a single camera, which is just awesome. It's got some of the sharpest images I have ever seen coming from a smartphone. It's kind of crazy. If you want to see in the dark, it's got night sight, which basically sees further than what the human eye can see. And it works extremely well. It's got great dynamic range and you get two stages of video stabilization as well as autofocus tracking in 4K. So it does a lot of things right even in video. However, the question is if I had to pick one, which one would it be? I would pick the Galaxy S10 Plus. It's not to say the Pixel 3 XL or the Pixel 3 in general is bad, I just feel the Galaxy S10 does a better job in most situations. The Pixel 3 definitely dominates the Galaxy S10 when it comes to portrait mode, especially in low light, but that's pretty much the only area where the Pixel kills the Galaxy S10. Other than that, I think that the Galaxy S10 offers more and it's a more rounded camera giving you the best video and the best photo features of these two phones. But what do you beautiful, gorgeous, intelligent, sexy people think? Sound off down below in the comment section. Let me know which phone you think won. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. So while you're down there, go ahead and click the opposable thumb. That way you, you know, like the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more content. Click the bell icon so you can be alerted when new content drops. And make sure you follow me on social. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to let me know what other Galaxy S10 videos you want to see. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.